wanted to ask you on, on the subject of accomplishments, a, a accomplished gentleman by Conor McGregor. We talked about him last time we were we were on. Obviously, you predicted he'd beat Dustin Poirier. We couldn't really envisage what was going to happen in that in that trilogy match. Do you expect him to recover from that that horrible injury, the leg the leg or break or the ankle break, and how he comes back? I I do, and I think he can come back and and again go as far as he wants. Like you, it's only your your mind is your limit. You don't have to just because you have losses doesn't mean you can't come back and be a champion or be you, you do whatever you want to do. And if he wants to come back, and I'm sure he will, and you know he's he's a fighter more than anything, and he has he has everything in the world, but he still wants to fight, and I think that's really admirable. Yeah, Michael Bisping said that you know I think he was involved in a kind of in a, in a sort of contentious moment at, at awards recently, not atypically maybe. But uh, Michael Bisping said that he's trying to keep himself relevant. Connor, do you feel that's the motivation for him still that he feels that way, or is is he just bothered about fighting now? He's not bothered about building his his name or worried about the celebrity side of it. I don't think I don't think he, like that would be a motivation. I think he just he like, he wants to fight and get better, and he, but he's able to live obviously in a different country and have different experiences I just think that that's his motivation now is, is healing from his injury and, and getting back into the cage do you think that Poirier quadruple match or whatever is a, a motivation yeah that I don't know if that would ever happen but I'm sure <laughs> it would be <laughs> 